Hey Mike, I've been hearing people use the term a stop of light. Can you tell me what that means? Okay, I'll try my best, but I can't promise it won't get a little bit nerdy. So one stop of light means either halving or doubling your exposure. It's a relative term based on your current exposure and people normally use it by saying they wanna add one stop of light or remove one stop of light. So how do I remove one stop of light? Well, you could halve your shutter speed, which would halve your overall exposure time. If you halve your exposure time, that means half of the amount of light gets through. So for example, from one one hundredth of a second to one two hundredth of a second. Or you could halve your ISO, which means halving your camera's sensitivity to light. Half the sensitivity to light means half the overall exposure. So for example, from ISO 800 down to ISO 400. Now aperture gets a little bit interesting because to halve the overall exposure, we need to halve the area of the aperture opening. I'm not gonna jump into pi r squared and the maths to calculate the area of the aperture opening, but all you have to understand is that to remove one stop of light, you need to multiply your aperture number by the square root of two. So if you're at f4 multiplied by the square root of two equals f5.6. I actually find it much easier to just memorize this sequence because they're all f stops at one stop apart. Or finally, the other way that you could remove one stop of light is by adding a one stop ND filter. Why would anyone need to know all this? Well, let's imagine you wanna change your camera settings but keep the same overall exposure. For example, you take a photo during the daytime at f2.8, ISO 100, and a shutter speed of one over 3200 and you get a really nice exposure. But the photo is too sharp for your liking and you wanna get all artsy and create a shutter drag image. In order to do that, you need to slow down your shutter speed. But if you wanna keep the same exposure, that means you've got to increase your aperture. Let's say I wanna come down to a shutter speed of 1 25th of a second to add some motion blur. That means I've added seven stops of light because I've doubled my shutter speed seven times. In order to even out the exposure, I need to remove seven stops of light with my aperture. So I go from f2.8 up to f16, but that's only five stops and my camera lens won't let me go any higher. So to get the other two stops and to balance out the exposure, I can add a two stop ND filter. All of this is really important for long exposure photography or flash photography where you don't get the results immediately on the back of your camera.